I just tested out my waffle maker for the first time and I think it turned out pretty well. I added some Kite Hill vanilla yogurt and stewed berries and powdered sugar and maple syrup on top so this is literally dessert and I can't wait to eat it. Hi you guys, I look a little messy right now. I just got back from a run. I am not a fan of running but every once in a while I feel like I should do it. <laughs> So I'm not a regular runner by any means. I ran to a grocery store to pick some things up because I'm having a couple friends over for dinner later. I think we're gonna make buffalo cauliflower wings in my air fryer and some chicken patty sandwiches. So I just needed to grab a few things. And I also picked up some flowers from a local shop on my way back from my run because these tulips have about had it. I'm gonna keep them in here like one more day though. I made tacos almost a week ago now and I still have leftovers. I'm finally finishing them up today. But they're just some vegan meat with some vegan sour cream and greens and refried beans and some hot sauce. And then I'm having this strawberry vanilla only pop with it. I just got ready and now I am sitting in my living room floor admiring all of the natural light that's coming in today. It's so nice. And I'm here to have a chat with you guys about skincare. I feel like my skin has changed so much over the pandemic. And at first, probably not in the best way. This video is sponsored by Curology. I'm not sure if you guys are already familiar with them, but I'm gonna go a bit more into detail about my routine and what products I'm using a bit later on. But first, I'll give you kind of the rundown on my skin and my history. So as a teenager, I absolutely had acne. Nothing so severe that I ever went on something like Accutane, but I was on prescription medication for it when I was a teenager. And I remember that just being quite traumatic for me and embarrassing and as a teenager, I was also making videos still like this. It was so long ago now. I was super into makeup at the time, so I was making primarily beauty-related videos, so I was constantly on camera without makeup on. I definitely felt some shame for my skin. As I got older, my skin kind of naturally improved, and I stopped taking those medications and treatments that I was prescribed because I didn't need to be on them anymore, and they were also so expensive, completely unaffordable. So it wasn't really the best fit for me anyways. As an adult, I still get breakouts, but nothing like when I was younger. And I really wanted to implement a super simple routine that's easy for me to travel with, even though we're not doing much traveling right now. And just kind of a no brainer at night and in the morning. So I don't even have to think about it. Sometimes I find if I have like a cabinet full of products, it's too overwhelming for me to take care of myself, which is no good. So my skin definitely got worse towards the beginning of the pandemic. I think a combination of factors, obviously wearing a mask all the time. I probably wasn't cleaning my reusable mask as well as I should have been. So that could definitely contribute to breakouts. And also the added stress of the pandemic and owning a business and just having the world change so quickly almost overnight. So I started using Curology over the summer. I just got my third shipment in from them. The biggest selling point of Curology for me is the convenience factor and the accessibility factor. Especially during a pandemic, having access to a dermatology provider online at an affordable price is incredible. Basically, you go on their site and follow the prompts to take some photos of yourself and describe your skin and any history that you have. Have. and then Curology will set you up with a prescription. So I just got my kit in here because I was running out of my other bottles and I have a subscription so they automatically send me refills. I've been using the full Curology set. So I use their cleanser, which is a gentle cleanser. I remove my makeup with this. It works great. And I find that it's not too drying for my skin, which is an issue that I've had with other cleansers in the past. And this is what Curology is sort of famous for, which is their treatment bottle, which is personalized for each individual depending on your skin concerns. Mine has, I might butcher these words, clindamycin, tretinoin, and azelaic acid. I remember being on a tretinoin prescription when I was younger, and like I said, it was so much more expensive than what Curology is. 
so I'm already completely impressed. This is what I apply every night after I cleanse my skin. And then I also have their Rich Moisturizer. I also use this day and night primarily in the morning though. I find this is so great under makeup. Sometimes at night I want a bit of a heavier moisturizer. If you guys sign up via my personalized link in the description box, you can get a free month trial with Curology. All you have to do is pay for shipping and handling, which is $4.95. So this is pretty much all I've been doing for my skin. With COVID, I'm pretty sure we still can't get facials in New York City, so I'm not doing anything like that. I go to a sauna a few times a month and I feel like that's helped my skin a lot. I also drink a ton of water. And then I do the occasional like charcoal face mask while I'm taking a bath just for a pamper night. But for the most part, this is all that I've been doing and I feel like it's working out really well for me. I'll show you guys my skin now kind of up close in my HD camera. I'm just wearing a bit of tinted moisturizer. I generally don't wear a lot of makeup. So having nice skin, um, especially being on camera, is something that's important to me. Overall, I feel like my skin texture has improved a lot. It's generally smoother, which I feel like always makes light makeup like tinted moisturizer looks so much better so like i said if you guys want to get started on a trial all you have to do is go to the link in my description box and thank you to curology for working with me on this video now i am gonna get some more work done and i will catch up with you guys later dun, 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 dun. i think it looks pretty good honestly is this a sound free vlog or can i say hi to the vlog you can say hi hi vlog <laughs> good morning you guys i just got up and did some morning pages in my journal that's something i've really been trying to implement lately and i feel like it's been making my day a lot better just because in general i feel like with my mental health mornings are always the worst time for me so it's nice to take the time to like get out any anxiety and just kind of like dump out my brain in the morning and i've been doing it for almost a week now and I feel like I actually have seen improvement so if you guys are maybe feeling the same way I would recommend I just got ready because I have a hair appointment to get these roots done this morning and I need to run some errands while I'm out also for my business but I'm going to show you guys my outfit and make some breakfast so today I'm wearing one of the Stutzbillet black balloon sleeve tees this is actually in a size large because I ended up having to sell my small during a sample sale because we oversold. I actually really like the larger one on me and the sleeves were already an oversized fit anyways to create that balloon effect. So this is great. We still have some larges and XLs in stock if you guys are interested. And then I am wearing it with our 30 inch trail offerings necklace, this and millimeter skirt that I got second hand, and my Prada loafers that I wear all the time. And then I also have one of our oxidized ear cuffs on my ear. I'm kind of in a hurry, so I'm just having some blackberries with sourdough toast with my favorite Kite Hill cream cheese. I just got home from my hair appointment. I did end up getting a blowout because it was so much cheaper without and I just got my roots touched up and I feel fresh and new. And now I'm about to eat some leftovers from dinner with my friends last night for lunch. The vegan chicken in the air fryer was just incredible and I need it again. And I really like these Dave's buns too. And I'm just having it with some other leftover sweet potato fries that I had. And this kombucha, which is one of my favorites. I haven't talked to you guys much today but now i am about to step out to go to dinner with my boyfriend for our anniversary dinner so i will not be bringing the camera along i'm wearing pretty much the same outfit as earlier i just changed tops and threw on a jacket because it's gonna be a little chilly for outdoor dining it's morning time now and i have more appointments today that i'm about to run out to i guess this is just the week 
of me getting stuff done, I'm gonna go get my phone fixed, fingers crossed. And then I'm also going to an eye appointment to get my prescription updated. So I'm just wearing this sweater, the trail offerings necklace, and our hoops and ear cuff. The same Aunt Easter skirt that I've been wearing, and the same loafers. I need to be on my way. I'm gonna be spending the day on the Upper East Side in my old neighborhood. It's Friday and I used my waffle maker again. It feels very luxurious. It is so fall outside today. I'm wearing a sweater and pants and loafers. And I think it's like 61 degrees. I'm about to go run some errands. It is Saturday morning. We've already had some more waffles at home and coffee here and just like a really chill morning in. Now I'm gonna go to the local bakery and see if they have any bread left because I'm a little bit late. And my flowers this week died so fast. I think I bought them at a bad time. So I'm gonna replace those. I picked up this olive makeup bread and I'm so excited. I'm gonna have it with some butternut squash soup for lunch. I'm about to take a bath with my book for a nice chilled evening in. Good morning, you guys. I just woke up after kind of a stressful night to some prominent rodent issues in my apartment. But I'm not gonna get into it because I don't wanna think about it anymore. I'm about to listen to a podcast. I'm gonna listen to the BOF podcast and eat my breakfast. I made some oatmeal. This is a lot different than the normal oatmeal that I make because I'm out of a lot of ingredients. But I ended up doing honey with some frozen bananas on the stove and like a few berries that I had and chia seeds. And then I'm gonna have my coffee. I need to go grocery shopping soon. Hi you guys, it is dark outside now. It started getting dark so early, but I haven't talked to you guys that much today. So I'm sorry about that. I've been feeling extra anxious the past couple days. I know I mentioned in the last clip some pest problems, which I'm not gonna get into, but I was just feeling so grateful that I wasn't dealing with the stuff in my apartment anymore for most of the year. I haven't seen anything since the other night. It was just a bit of a traumatic experience. So <laughs> I think I've just been feeling anxious from that because I'm such a baby, but also like plenty of other stuff going on too. I treated myself to Taco Bell, which is a treat in some ways, but it also kind of makes me feel like shit afterwards. So I have to be like, is that really a treat? But I love Taco Bell. It's like such a guilty pleasure and I love Mountain Dew Baja Blast. So I did this tonight for myself. But I just wanted to chat with you guys a bit more before this vlog wraps up. I'm not sure if this is going to be the last day or if I'm going to film tomorrow because I'm going on a hike tomorrow and taking the day off and I think that'll be really nice because I've been trying to hike like once a week and I know I'm already going upstate another time this weekend with some friends and my boyfriend were going to Storm King, which I've never been there, so that should be exciting. But what did I do today? I talked to my therapist, which is a new thing in my life. I finally caved and started this thing that I probably should have started like 10 years ago or more. And I'm actually liking it so far. It's been a process for me. I've been doing it for almost like two weeks now. And everything's virtual because of the times. So I actually signed up for Talkspace, which isn't a platform that's talked about as much, at least online, as much as BetterHelp. But to me, it seems like a much better option than BetterHelp. And I know BetterHelp kind of had like a scandal. 
So I was feeling a little weird about it. And I'm really liking Talkspace so far. I've just been going through like a lot of background information about my life as my therapist. One thing that was always stopping me from getting in therapy before is that I personally feel like I am a pretty introspective person. I like seek out all the resources. I feel like I thought that I knew what therapist was gonna tell me, which <laughs> isn't necessarily untrue, but it's so different to actually talk to someone. Another thing is that I journal all the time already and I thought that therapy, especially with a lot of it being online in these times, I thought it was just gonna be kind of the same thing as journaling, but it's not at all. So if that's something that's holding you back, I guess that's something to take into consideration from someone who is so not into the idea of starting. So I've been doing that. I purchased a new piece of furniture today online after several offers and counter offers back and forth with a few different sellers for this one piece of furniture that i wanted for my bedroom i purchased this paul mccobb leather credenza on cherish <laughs> i love cherish i get like everything from cherish i feel like like my couch and my coffee table and my other credenza all of those pieces are from cherish just to offer you guys some insight if you're looking to get into like collecting furniture and whatnot i think cherish is a really great place for placing offers on items i feel like over the past couple years things on cherish have gotten a lot more expensive but cherish has a feature that's called verified offers so when you place an offer on something you have to pay for it um, or they go ahead and charge your card. I would recommend using a credit card because then it's just pending until the offer actually gets confirmed and your refund, if it doesn't get confirmed, is processed super quickly. I don't know if that's making sense. But my suggestion for putting in offers is to lowball at first, but not so aggressive that they're not gonna respond or that the seller is gonna be offended by you. And then you can kind of go back and forth from there. Obviously don't put more than one offer in though until another seller like counters or declines. Or you might end up with multiple pieces of the same furniture. That's pretty much what I did today besides some other work stuff. I also have some inventory arriving on Friday. Five or six big boxes of inventory we are getting um a lot of our t-shirts and i think you guys should let me know what you think about this if you're a customer i think we're gonna release a small collection of our t-shirts or at least some of them prior to the collection of like actual clothes not the t-shirts aren't actual clothes but you know what i mean they're just gonna be done a lot faster than our skirts and pants and outerwear and they're also a lot easier to shoot so we might release those first. What do you guys think? One of the shirts is quite Halloween-y too, so I think it could be cool for that. I'm gonna stop rambling. My boyfriend is coming over soon and we're just gonna have a chill rest of the night before we go hiking tomorrow. Good morning! It is hike time. Um, I can't believe I am actually wearing clothes for the hike. I feel like I usually am just in like shorts and a sports bra because it gets so hot, but today it is cooler. I'm wearing this Carhartt vest with a black long sleeve shirt, some older Stadtsbillet pants that I've already ripped a hole in the knee on a hike before. I need to patch those up. And my hiking shoes by Hoka. And then I have my REI pack and my massive water bottle. I ended up having such a nice hike today. It is starting to be fall upstate and there's so many like red and orange leaves at the top of the mountain and it was really beautiful but there was so much traffic going up there and also coming back. Usually it takes an hour. It took two hours, both waves. So I was in the car for like four hours today, <laughs> unexpectedly. I just got my prescription sunglasses in and these are life-changing. I've never had prescription sunglasses before, but it's incredible. <laughs> Anyways, I think I'm gonna wrap this vlog up here. I hope you guys enjoyed and I will see you soon with a new video. Bye.